Hello, Jenny and Ellis here, Clinical Animal Behaviourist and Horses Translated. So in this uh, quick video, I'm going to show you how I go about introducing two separate groups of horses. Um, it's going to be like a partial introduction because it's not actually going to go the whole way, probably. Um, so a quick bit of background. I've popped two of my conservation ponies, uh, Folly and Flicker, their mother and son, um, over into the lower paddock, which I'll show you soon. And I also need to graze a lower paddock with my big horses, um, and I don't really want the two lots mixing. So I'm basically going to be putting in a DMZ, um, which we jokingly call our kind of no man's land bit, between the two groups of horses. So that's going to be basically two parallel electric fences, both sides are familiar with electric fences um, but I want two so there's a gap in between so they can't actually touch each other so it just reduces the risk of the two getting together but if I was introducing them to go in all together and um, this is also how I would still do it because we've got a group of three and a group of two who haven't met before and I'd like them to get used to the sight of each other um, be together so that when the fences come away life is less dramatic. So this is the uh, setup at present. So there's a fence there to stop the big ones coming down the track and it extends round and we've got a little fence going down the field that's keeping Folly and Flicker on the left hand side and then I'm going to put a parallel fence in so that the others can have the right hand side. There we are, so here we have it. Um, one demilitarised zone, one area of no man's land, one area that means that one horse can't invade the personal space of the horses on the other side of it. So that's why the width is what it is. So um, let's go and I'll show you. So here we go, we're just walking up through the channel. You can see that it's, um, it's pretty wide. It's wider than it is long, so that means it's not going to be a problem for personal space. Okay, so battery is now clipped on. Lovely little transition to grazing from the girls. Yes, that's you, Penny. You are the boss. You're so cool. By the boss, I mean Penny always has it completely sorted. She knows what she's doing. Rather than she's the one who bosses them around. So now everybody except Chaps is grazing. Haha, I speak, Penny puts her head up. This is a thing. No, nope. like a change too? Yep. See, you say they're doing something and then they change. What I'm really loving is the fact that Folly has got his mum to go back to. So earlier on, you might not have seen it in the video, but he was really doing that baby champing snapping it's called where they open and shut their mouths and kind of cringe he was doing that quite a bit 
and he'd go back to his mum and they've had a little groom and he's tried to play with her which she wasn't too keen on so she just walked away yeah like that <laughs> but he's got her right there for what could be a very daunting moment as a little baby horse so he's only just coming into puberty so he's like a 12 year old boy so he kind of still needs his mum's help oh, and chaps over here he does take his boy role in the herd very seriously. He does, uh, he's a gelding, he likes to do some stallioning, as in making sure that he's got his, his women around him. So this is all quite a bit much for him. But he's doing okay, I'm pleased with that. So for now I'm going to leave um, the big ones with the walkway clear to get all the way back up to the other paddock. I'm going to leave their water up there for now as well so that they can go away, they can have some respite um, and then I think tomorrow I will bring the water back down and they will both have some water. So yeah I'm just going to make sure that um, after tomorrow they'll have water, both both sides will have a water station down here and I'll put them roughly in a similar vicinity so that we can have yeah, that bit of like social drinking going on we should get the other social behavior starting to go on like synchronizing their grazing and their resting patterns and all should settle down a little bit particularly when Chaps realizes that Folly really isn't going to be that much of a threat just yet Folly's so terribly curious and he really wants to go and see what's going on. And Chaps is going to go, this is my poo. Get a good smell of that. He's going to have a good smell himself. Oh, it's a bit much, isn't it, Chaps? I'm going to trust my lovely energizer for now and be back later. Be good, guys. So present and correct. Okay, so it's now uh, 24 hours more or less since I put up the fence with the, the DMZ and the horses have um, spent some time down there so yesterday evening and now they are up top again. It's growing over there. Oh, assistant videographer here and Penny there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take the water down so that they have a more communal drinking spot. Okay, let's go. And now we're on to our last phase of the fencing project, which is my big ones are being shut down here with the little ones with their no man's land in between them. So let's take a see how that looks. So I'm, you know, pretty happy with that, to be honest. Um, Chaps is more settled now about the whole arrangement. They're just kind of looking at each other. There's not too much dramatic posturing going on so I think they'll be able to settle down and that's how it's going to be till the end of the week when the big ones move on in their rotation and we'll just see how Polly gets on with his mum and what's going to happen there um who knows but this bit has gone fine so that is over and out for this video so uh, if this is helpful to you um please subscribe because now and then I put my finger out and I put some more informational videos out there okay bye bye So we are now uh, just a few days into having the uh, no man's land between the two groups. There's still a little bit of uh, jealousy. For example, if uh, Chaps is diverted and Polly talks to one of the girls, he has to go down and just split the two up, um, as it were. 
but otherwise they've generally been I'm finding them resting grazing um, they've all been well I took chaps out for a ride yesterday um, and he wasn't particularly upset by that so I'm kind of happy that they're settled with this arrangement and everyone is going to settle down and be okay